I personally expect that there will be a CO2 tag on the components and also cars in the future. Our division serves different industries, so aerospace industry, but also automotive applications. But the key trends I see are general in, with regards to the urbanization and mobility concepts, that in connection with car sharing, autonomous driving, but also behavior of consumers at the end of the day. The secondly, we see a lot of trends in the ecology at the moment, driving electrification, but it's more about the CO2 footprint, the carbon footprint requirements, in connection with sustainability. And the last point I see is the speed of changes we see in the industry in general at the moment, driving digitization, not only in production, but also in administration as well, to become more efficient and competitive at the end of the day. On field we see is a drive systems. So what will be used in the future in terms of combustion engine, fuel cells, electric drives, and also the legislation will influence the consumer behavior. We still see a strong trend in terms of lightweight and also the change in lightweight, the components are getting more complex, module built, but also large casting, that's what we see on the automotive side. On the aerospace side, we see the first serial applications for 3D printing. So there are structural components or let's say um, stationary components which are being printed. On the ecological side, I personally expect that there will be a CO2 tag on the components and also cars in the future that also the consumer can see and identify where it's coming from. So it's very much about how do we produce in terms of operational excellence, drive down energy consumption or even use green energy, but also then in terms of waste, taking waste out, scrap rate, but also where do we produce? Where do we have the supply chain? How, how we can take logistic cost out, also logistic waste out? On the uh, digital roadmap, I think it's very much about efficiency and um, also automation, what we can implement in the administration as well as in production. So in summary, the strategic fields are basically the light, uh, light alloy or lightweight applications, um, operational excellence, manufacturing technologies, especially when it comes to new components. We have to be fast and innovative. That's um, the integration also with the supply chain and the digitalization to have that as a sustainable system to drive automation. We're just redefining the procurement strategy. So how do we want to put the team together and what are the key initiatives? The fields identified so far is certainly the advanced sourcing. As we know there are new requirements from the market and new technologies also in terms of complexity. So the integration of suppliers in an early stage will be crucial also to have the different solutions available. Um, that goes very close with the innovation management, supplier innovation management. And if we see the number of startups being around at the moment, just a tremendous number of ideas. It's just the challenge to identify the right subjects for our company. On the digital roadmap, we, I think it's all about the data, data management, data availability, and how do we provide that in terms of decision-making process. And also to connect in the future outside information from market customer to the inside information and make that available as a quick response. Um, that is a precondition basically also for the operational excellence and also automation later in the process for the visibility on how the supply chains work to also capture the requirements of sustainability. On the organization so side, I personally think we need to address these items, the digital mindset, the digital knowledge what we need to implement in our organization, but together also with the experienced category managers to prepare the negotiation even better with the information and access we have. From my perspective, business integration will be crucial. So a fast track information system from the market and customer information and requirements down into the administration, production, but also the integrated supply chain. So that availability will probably differentiate companies in the future. And coming to that point, also the business partnership is very close associated as we see that some of our big customers, they partner up and use synergies on large projects. And this is something we need to consider as well as a mid-sized company. Do we 
need to do everything by our own? Can we afford that in the future or should we partner up with other suppliers there as well or business partners? Another point is to master is the advanced sourcing, which I mentioned before, to have the right technologies available, but also developing then the digital roadmap in terms of applications, not only what we use today, but robotic automations, artificial intelligence, and also blockchain applications. So overall, I think it's a very challenging time at the moment when we see the pressure from the market, the changes we see in our industry, and um, the level of investment we have to take in terms of um, capacity, but also capability. And we need to control the cost, obviously the spend, while we execute the strategy in parallel.